church is every Sunday at 9 30 and we don't have breakfast on Sundays anymore a lot of colonies don't there are still some that do but we are one of those that don't I get up at 8 30 so that I can enjoy my cup of coffee read my devotional and my bible and then around 9 20 I get myself ready for church at 9 30 the bell rings and we'll go to church Today is Easter Sunday, which means that we have a church service at 9.30 and another one at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. And the reason for that is because there is so much information and that you can't get everything into just one church service. And since Easter is such an important time of the year, it's important to know all the information and all the facts. Church was an hour and 30 minutes today. We are out of church now. It was two hours long. Our colony goes at two, not everybody goes at two. Some go at 2.30, some go earlier than two. And not everybody's church service is two hours. Some people have a three to four hour church service. So yeah, the time when you go and the length of a church service depends on the colony. Each colony does it differently. Ours was two hours. Ours was two hours today. <laughs> It's not too windy. Ooh, being outside is nice. Had to relocate all the way down to the valley. In a comment on one of my videos, somebody thought that when you live in a Hutterite community and you are your individual person, you get shunned and that it's frowned upon. But I just want to tell you that's not true. He was just curious. I know there's more people wandering, so that's why I'm putting this in here. At the afternoon church service, it said that even on a colony, you are your own individual person because God wants your own individual answer. He doesn't want a group answer. He wants your yes or no. So even though we live together as a community, in the end, it's up to you. Someone asked me if there are ever times where we do not eat together with everybody in the community kitchen. And yes, there are certain times when we have what we call family supper, where we eat at home. Our head cook usually makes sure that we have something. And they decided to have family supper today. So we got to pick between burgers, hot dogs, or cutlets to take home and make ourselves. So. It doesn't happen that often. I know there's some colonies that have it every Sunday or every Friday. We don't do that. We don't have it that often. And there is really never um, an excuse to have it. It's just a, a random thing that sometimes happens. Hello. I so red. It's hot. I guess my dress doesn't have a on a very thick dress. Another third. 
So today we have another church service as you might be able to catch snippets and hear it a bit. The church service today is basically in remembrance of the death of Jesus Christ, which means that all our members that are baptized partake in the Lord's Supper, which is otherwise known as communion. We call it Oatmalea. So if someone is cooking that is baptized, the oldest girl, the oldest one of our girls that is not baptized yet, cooks for her during the church service because she's baptized, she has to go, she has to partake in um, the Lord's Supper, oatmeal, oatmeal name as we call it. Since it's usually our couples that take care of the kids during the church service and they have to go to this church service, the guys take care of the kids. They also have to feed the kids. So this should be interesting. This is basically why I'm cooking today because you know Alice is supposed to be cooking this week but she's baptized already, she has to go to church so I'm cooking for her during the church service. Richard, how's babysitting? <laughs> My enthusiasm is on a wave. Matt, you don't do it. Try. Hello? Color? Yeah, yeah, right. We had a little bit of a break, so we made a quick run. See how things were going at the school. If the guys were okay, they're fine. They got this under control, they don't need us. I everything today. It's always a tradition. At this church service, we have a ham sandwich. Ham, cheese, tomatoes, lettuce, good stuff, good stuff. And since there's kind of a little bit of a lull around here, I'm gonna go help the guys feed the kids because I think, I think they might need a little bit of help. Are you guys managing? And so after the church services and Sunday school, the rest of the day is ours. Except until uh, until the evening church service that we have. But that is usually only half an hour. What we call gebet, which translates to prayer. It's starting. So 
we just now got out of church and this is the fourth Easter holiday that we have and it's also the last one. Even though today is still a Sunday for us, it's still Tuesday, which means I do laundry on Tuesday. So I'm gonna go finish my laundry. Today there is actually no Sunday school and it does happen sometimes that there happens to not be any. Ooh, talk about sun. So since there is no Sunday school today, I decided to go for a walk because it's just absolutely beautiful and uh, I'm also trying to get rid of the dumpling that I had for lunch today. So way over there is the cliff. Last week's vlog when the children and our choir was singing, it was filmed from way up there. dry my feet well before I put on my socks. Oh no 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 this is not good. What <laughs> there goes putting on dry shoes <laughs> seriously wait where's my sock? We're walking, come on, to top it off. This pair ripped apart. Yay, yay for me. Okay, it's not bad. Nope, still no shoes. These are soaked and these are torn. Exciting, wait, oh my socks are here. Thought I lost them. Actually, the walking home part was not that bad. I just really conditioned and got my feet ready for summer. Easter holidays are over we are gonna continue with our work and I am spring cleaning the basement today <laughs> spring cleaning is never as much work as fall cleaning So I have two rooms completely done and two rooms I only have the floors left to do. But now it's lunchtime. Now I'm gonna go eat, I'm kind of hungry. We also have to make, what do we have to make after lunch? Ravioli, I believe? Some sort of pierogi? No, we have ravioli, 
for supper. We have to make the pierogies that go into the ravioli. There we go. You know, all about the health. All about being healthy, this one. This is lemon filled. I'm in charge of making the gluten free. I'm done. I am done with spring cleaning our house. We are now done. My mom did the top part of our house last week. I did and I just now finished the basement. Actually, we are not done. Not done by a long shot. We still have to do the kitchen, the church, the laundromat, the kindergarten. That, that's just four. I feel like there's another one, but that's not gonna be this week or maybe not even next week. That's gonna be over the span of the next two months. Somebody asked me if we buy our flowers or if we start them from a seed. I accidentally told that person that we buy all our flowers. I'm sorry, but I misinformed you. We actually, we, bu we do buy a lot of our flowers. We also start a lot by seed. And then all our veggies are also started by seed. So, I apologize for misinforming you. We are now on our way to the greenhouse. So, let's go. Taking away the recycling in the process. Not watching. This is ravioli. Oh, beef and bro. Is that beef and beef and barley? I forgot. I gotta go get A pumpkin muffin. <gasps> Tara and your plate looks so good. It is gonna be deal. <laughs> Kona. And when I actually need my glasses, I forget them at home. Kona! So today is a big raking day. It is actually a big day for us. We do have a big raker, but... But we still need to rake places that the raker can't get to. We need to rake away the leaves and the sticks from the trees. Because the raker can't get too close. Things like that. Around bushes, around trees. And I really, I really, really should have worn my glasses. I think I'm gonna go home and get them.
currently one and the girls and the kids are going to be cleaning up the colon. And what I mean by cleaning up is cl mostly cleaning up branches, but trash, whatever is where it's not supposed to be, we clean. We actually wanted to wait and do it with the guys, but the guys aren't able to do it till four and we just really want to get it done and out of the way. So with the girls and the kids, we should be fine. We should be able to manage, but around the shop area, we don't touch that area. That area belongs to the guys. So no matter what, they clean up their area. I think I gotta go because we're gonna be splitting into two groups so it doesn't take as long. See, that stuff is all stuff that's just gonna plug the raker. So we have to gather everything. done it doesn't I know some people do it three days straight but we don't it just takes us three quarter day I think it was about three quarter day -ish. yeah and I think at this point I really need to shower because it feels like at this point I'm just chewing dirt I know you want it. Yeah. 